Hi, I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm taking a look at the Yala phone. It's the first phone from Finnish manufacturer Yala running Sailfish OS. Now the phone itself has an unusual design with this two-tone split going on, making it look almost like two phones squashed together. These back panels are interchangeable and have NFC chips built in, allowing different colours to automatically change themes and settings when they're applied to your phone. As well as this amazing lime green, we've also got quite a nice orangey red and there's a white option available too. Now the phone has a 4.5 inch display with a 960 by 540 pixel resolution. That is a little low and it does result in small text under the icons looking a little fuzzy. It's quite a chunky phone but I think the stark design makes it quite attractive. Volume and power buttons are on the side but you'll notice that there are no navigation buttons on the front. So getting around Sailfish OS requires you to use various gestures. Now, a double tap will wake the phone up and show you notifications. Slide down and you'll see your recent apps and if you keep going further still that will show you all apps installed. Now to return home from an app you just swipe in from the left and that will place the app in the multitasking panel. When going through menus, simply swiping back will return you to the previous page. It's a fairly attractive interface but there will be a big learning curve for those of you used to the simplicity of iOS. Now one of the big issues with any new operating system is a lack of apps, but Sailfish actually supports Android apps. Although you can't access the Google Play Store, there are third-party app stores available where you can find titles like Spotify, Skype, we've also got Twitter, LinkedIn, and down here you see YouTube. There are plenty more available as well, including WhatsApp Messenger and Viber. Now, you can't get everything you'd find, but the fact that there are already so many Android apps means it's got a better app selection than BlackBerry 10 does. Now the Yola phone is certainly unusual and it might appeal to those of you looking for something a bit different from the usual iPhone and Android phone to see around. The phone is currently being shipped out to early pre-order customers across Europe for €399, Euros, although Yola couldn't say when it will be available anywhere else. So make sure to keep it CNET for all the latest news and leave your thoughts on the phone in the comments below. I'm Andrew Hoyle and this is the Yola phone running Sailfish OS.